whatever happens here. Yeah, look, we're obviously Pat and, and, and Stephen, obviously. So I'll give up Pat, I suppose, more so, I suppose. He'll still be in a small bit of touch with him and stuff, and he's still with some clubs back in Wexford as well. Um, he's a manager of Ferns and he's a selector with, with uh, Feather. And, uh, I don't know how he's doing it all, to be honest. But, but uh, yeah, I'm selling Steve Malone for there, doing great, great work. Um, so it'll be an interesting one. Really. Well, it's, um, as you say, it, it is a bit of a drive, but it, you, you almost have to accept these things when you finish third. Is that kind of like what you when you're doing? Yeah, well, like we're just grateful to be in the championship. Um, you know, we're getting another another chance at it as well, and um, we're coming down against an opposition. I suppose that you wouldn't regularly see much of. I suppose. Um, so it's it's intriguing, and uh, yeah, look, we're, we're we're going down the weekend with with uh, again that, that attitude of it's a knockout championship. So um, you know you got to be really on the game. What was the build up like to the week on into Northern Park? Because it must be huge pressure on you as a group, like, and it was all the flag over what you know, the result of the performance and money gather. How did you deal with that? Yeah, well, like, I suppose during the week there was an element of frustration involved in it, um, knowing that we put ourselves in a position, um, that we really left ourselves in a position that, you know, was a knockout championship from here on in. And I suppose during the week, with that element of frustration, we were able to trans trans transfer it into some form of, you know, motivation and, and uh, we kind of done a bit of, you know, a bit of like, soul searching as well during the week and, and you know, we don't know how long Kenny, we knew what threat they pose. We had great battles over the last number of years and look, we were going to Northern Park and I suppose it was a, a big incentive for us obviously to remain in the championship and I suppose we used what we could as well. Like, I think during that week as well, someone had mentioned that we hadn't beaten King Kenny in Northern Park ever in the championship. Now, not that we might have played it much over the years in the championship in Northern Park, but uh, it, was a nice, it was a nice kind of thing to go over and try and try and achieve as well. It all had focus of mind, didn't it? You'll try and use everything you know, to get you going for games and stuff. But I suppose the kind of thing to kill Kenny are a lot of teams around Ireland to laugh up their game and their but you know, they, they always, it was to some degree, they're probably the most consistent team in the country. So they always want to bring that performance and work out. And like the history of the championships is, we have lots of teams who end up as all out champions. They hit a kind of crisis point of washing up the season yeah. and free, maybe that was it. But what do you do with that now and how do you take advantage of it? Yeah, it is, but it still doesn't mean everything, you know, we've had moments like that in the past as well where we've kind of had big enough wins, but you know, it just doesn't always it doesn't always compete. Just competitive to, to keep, keep I suppose get that performance and it's been a three week it's been a three week gap now since we've played and a lot can happen in that three weeks could be heavy load and training some lads could probably pick up little knocks here and there and, and then I suppose if you're if you're looking to try and build on things momentum wise and form a three week day off sometimes isn't the best thing but um, like I said we're just we're, we're delighted to be getting out this weekend again and um, we're going to give Kerry a lot of You've had to mind yourself this year, also because of the injury. How frustrating has it been? Because it's been a slow burn for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been very frustrating. I missed pretty much all the league. We have 20 minutes, I think, in Waterford in the semi final. And um, it was a frustrating thing, but when, when you're seeing the work that Dara was doing and the players and um, what the league campaign that they did have, it, it does help you more, it helps motivate yourself. But, I suppose there is an element of seeing him getting on so well in the league that it was quite frustrating, frustrating at times as well. And you can, it's hard to see that date when you'll be back on the field and when can you get back to competitive training and stuff. And you're, it's a long process, but I suppose being on the road for a while as well, not having many injuries, I've been lucky, but you can use it as a bit of a break, a bit of a mental break sometimes too, and it can help. And um, you know, I think it's benefited me to some degree this year. I'm just trying to take the positives out of it more than anything. But, in my own head, I think there's been some benefits in it from too. Because the match fitness, you could see it in each game, the match fitness was getting better. And probably, not, probably those games against the lower teams um, helped you in the middle, could be right in it? Yeah, well you can prepare yourself um, to any degree, um, off the field, you know, in training, in the gym, you can prepare yourself and condition yourself, but you just cannot get that match fitness without, without games. And I suppose that was the missing piece to my jigsaw this year was just that lack of game time and, um, and unlucky for me I didn't get a chance to even get at the ladder level of the league maybe um, so I just kind of had to go in blind with the championship which 
no real game. Um, yeah, look at it. I could even see it and feel it myself with each game that went along. I was just getting a little bit sharper, a little bit fitter as well. So um, I was look. I, 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 there was a period there where I didn't really, I didn't even know if I was going to make the first round of the championship. So um, you know, I was just happy to be where I'm at at the moment. You were running out of juice in the second half. Of that. Yeah. Well, it might look. Was that it might have looked like it, but it felt like it. <laughs> But uh, no, look, I, again, it's, 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 it's emotion at some points in games that's taken over there. Um, games in the middle part, your, your years on a shoestring, and, and you know, you, you, you need to just keep working, keep working, and just try to get over the line and, and see how the result. And look, we've done it on the day, and everyone put in the ball, it's a great shift, and then we've got a reward. Sorry to pick it up again, what exactly was the nature of the injury? You, you tore the hamstring pretty bad, wasn't it? Yeah, I had a great tree tear in my hamstring. Yeah. How exactly did it, did it happen again? Like, uh, I, actually, I actually tore it at the, in, in, in the quarter final of the club scene last year, the end of last year. And that was around what, September, October or later? I think so, it would have been late enough in the year, yeah. And I came back after that, so I got back in pre-season with uh, Wexford and I a couple of weeks into that, I just overstretched it and it, it, it tore on me again. So it was like uh, it was just going over all scar, and I, 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 I just I imagine. So I had to kind of take a, a serious route to it then and, and really get into stuck into rehab and stuff as well. So what can you do? I mean, because you obviously just need, there's nothing, there's no surgery. You just have to rest it up and send it to you. Yeah, no, there was no surgery. Mine it was pretty much rehabbing. Um, patience is a lot of it, and it's just being sure you're making. You're making sure everything else around that have a string is strong and remaining strong and then while letting the time go by to heal the actual muscle that's damaged as well. So, and then also when it gets to a certain point you're conditioning that again and you're rehabbing that too. Were you itching to start against Bowie Lee or were you like, yeah. I, need to, I need to wait here and see how things go? Or? Yeah, well like, look, I suppose the time is when the lads that I work with in terms of the doctors and physios and the specialists that I was working with throughout me uh, my injury, I'd be extremely grateful for it. They, they were very patient with me and were great, but I'd always try and push the ball out um, in terms of trying to get that date um, in, in, in my head, which they are not very comfortable all the time putting in front of you because it's not fair, I suppose. But um, I'd always be trying to push the ball out a little bit and trying to see that end goal of where I'm going to get up back onto the field. And um, I probably accelerated things a little bit myself just through, due to. The, the work I was getting through, but um, I was hoping to try because I knew the, the National League was pretty much gone um, and I was, I was doing what I could to try and get back for that game in the first round of championship against Galway, but time just kind of, I kind of, it was a bit of a, got away from me a bit, so I, I didn't manage to, to make it and uh, yeah, look, I was delighted to see to get back in and get 20 minutes in the end of that game. So. You were happy, man, that evening. Obviously, like, you, you came on and made a big impact. Mm -hmm. Like, in hindsight, that was a really important result. Mm -hmm. Look, selfishly, it was a nice moment, I suppose, in terms of just coming in. And, look, Damien Rick were free, and, and I got the chance to hit it over the bar. And just for yourself, I suppose, it was a nice moment after having a long three or four months out of injury and, and just to come back into the atmosphere and make some part like that and to grind out some form of a result. Now, obviously, we were going in ecstatic grinding, but we didn't win the game, but um, it didn't look like a game that we were, we were going to win throughout the time. So, I suppose to just pull off a draw and at the end of it was dramatic enough. So, we were, um, yeah, so I was happy anyway. Could you potentially, like, Dipped for a year or two post Davy, like, like Dara's coming and got you through this, like, you know, the, you know, the immediate impact massive, like, you're still here. The team? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, of course, like, he's, he's like, he, like I said, he's, he's, he's just added layers to, to our game. Um, and, you know, Dara didn't want to come in and just reboot the whole system, it was just about adding certain things to the way we can, the way we want to perform. And, and um, like, look, I think he's done. He's done a great job of it. Um, in training every night, like a lot of a lot of our our training would consist of that Tipperary style of, I suppose not Tipperary style, but the, the fact that a star, a Tipperary man, trying to add his stamp to what he values most. A lot of you know, a lot of skill work and a lot of um, ball, ball work and stuff. So um, it's it's uh, that's a very enjoyable way to be training, you know, as well. So um, look, at obviously there's been great foundations there from from Davy. Um, that we we love playing for and we love playing that system. Um, I suppose Dara's just coming to try and add a different element to us.
really, um, in, you mentioned yeah. there the, in the week up to the him, he was speaking very big. He says, listen, Wexford, if we win this game, we're going to be a dangerous animal. And he said, we're not to fear. They obviously have been content so many times. Not sure the last few years. Do you sense he's trying to get that bit of that arrogance, but that tip confidence into you, like to talk big, to play big? You know, the other day, we have always been playing things down, but maybe Daryl wants you to know, express yourself a little bit more or articulate yourself. Yeah, well, look at, I suppose, Dara, when he's with us, you know, he speak about the confidence and belief that he has in us coming up against any opposition and, and our ability and stuff and look maybe he just I don't know for his own self he just felt it was something that he wanted to address or something and I don't know if it was to put a bit of pressure on ourselves as well just to see if we can fight ourselves to fight our way out of that corner but I mean I don't I don't know if whatever was said or whatever comments Dara made was kind of in our I suppose psyche going into the kick in the game that game was a motivating factor in itself being knocked out championship so um, yeah that week like I said we just prepared ourselves really well and Darren a great job that week as well of getting it from I suppose that frustrated strict frustrated mindset on the OSB the week previous you know to, the, to, the, to how we addressed that week as well It must give you some sort of uh, some amount of encouragement you know having come away from like sort of at one point and then to win you know, four thereafter. after. Yeah, that must be a huge thing for yourselves, knowing that you're not going to play in Wexford Park again. Yeah, well, I suppose that, that second game, this is the second day out in Wexford Park, we, 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 we knew that was our last day in Wexford Park this year, and it was again Dublin, and I suppose that was an extremely disappointing day, being beaten by a client. You don't want to be beaten in your own place, you know, so. Um, and we knew that we had put ourselves under some form of pressure there, but we kind of knew that if we can still grind out results and get results, it's kind of still in our hands to make it to a Leinster final essentially. And, um, but then when I suppose the Westmead result came, it was a matter of adjusting and just the focus was now to just remain the championship and go to the and park and get a result. And, um, yeah, the, the championship for ourselves has been a bit of a mixed bag, but we got four points away from home um, and only one point out of home, which probably isn't the best. Isn't the best results, but ones you wouldn't be hoping for. But uh, it's also a good sign that you can go away from home and get results too. Yeah, absolutely. Can it help you going into the series? There's been so much talk about the Munster Championship, the yeah. yeah. after you know snapping at their heels. There hasn't been too much talk about Wexford at all. Bar from out bar, the performance produced in Kenny. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't see why there would be much talk about us. Like we've, we've, like I said, we've had a mixed bag championship, and we've, we've. I suppose we've got results where we were probably expected to and didn't get results we were expected as well. So it's it's um it has been really a mixed bag. But uh, yeah, we're happy enough there at the moment just to be be working hard and away by ourselves there and, and keeping the talk down anyway. And look at we just we focus each day as it comes and carry the next focus now and um we'll just get into the weekend and um, hopefully put a performance down there and He's got a band the next day. Can I ask you briefly what, what you're doing outside of hurling and how that impacted you during the rehab? Were you being, you're based in Wexford or are you travelling up and down? Possibly, sorry. The what were you doing outside of hurling at the moment? Like, you're how Everything that I was doing outside of hurling was still hurling. Yeah. To be honest, it probably wasn't in a group setting, it was more solo and individualised for me. Um, so it was a lot of just two day gym sessions. Um, you'd be rehabbing and you'd be doing other stuff as well to keep yourself in check. And then when you get back on your feet and you're able to do that bit of mobility and running and stuff, um, you can you can say there's there's some there was three times a week there was two day sessions and then the, the I suppose the alternative days then were gym sessions as well. So there was a lot of training involved just trying to get myself back on my feet. Um, yeah, and, and to look at a lot of this time that I had off the field with the lads was was consistent just focusing on how we how can I get back on it. For more exclusive content, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.